Hi, welcome to part 6, post install to do's. First I need to fix my graphics card. Uh, normally you either use a kext or a EFI string and I use this OS x86 tools to add a EFI string to make my graphics card work like it should. You go to here, G GFX strings, you choose your graphics card in this list my NVIDIA 9600 is not in the list, so I choose custom GeForce. OS 10 asks you for the password, and here you enter the name of your card. It doesn't really matter what you type in here, it's just what will show in the system, I guess. Press OK. It asks you how much memory you have. Mine is 512, and I had two DVI ports. And here is a string. So you press import string to hex editor. And in one of these boxes you can input the default mode for your monitor. And in my case it's 1920 times 1200 uh, times 32 bit color at 60 hertz. This will make the graphics card run in that mode from the startup of OS X. And again you have to enter your password and press restart. And here's a quick restart, sped up a little bit. And you see here, the graphical mode is changed, the apple was smaller this time. And now we need to fix our sound. Uh, you need a driver or a kext for your sound card and also for the network card. You see I only have Firewire here. And I'm going to use a tool called Kext Utility. Take two Kexts and just drop them in the Kext Utility. And the Kext Utility will copy them to the where they should be and repair disk permissions. And after a quick reboot, you can see here we have sound. And now over to the network card. Take your Realtek Kext, your Realtek network card, just drop it on Kext Utility. Kext Utility does its job and we take a quick reboot and now the network card works. You see I have two Ethernet connections here. I did discover something weird, and uh, if you open a network utility, it says link speed 0 megabit. And I just solved that by going to network and advanced and Ethernet setup. Instead of automatically, I have to set it to a gigabit because I know I have a gigabit switch. And apply. And we'll go to network utility again. It says 1 gigabit per second. Problem solved. And uh, next part here is updates. See, I'm running 10.6 here. Software update. I just remove those texts, delete them. Show details. So it shows me I have three updates I can download. Press agree on all of them. Input password and it downloads all the updates. And when it's done, you have to restart. Now restarted, I'm gonna install iStat menus to monitor my computer. And you see here, it's an Intel sensor module. It asks if you wanna have that, so that's probably just for real Macs, but I install it anyways. Insert password, install, and something went wrong at this time. <laughs> uh, it's done installing, but it doesn't want to quit the installer. And OS 10 also came with a pop-up box saying there are some updates for you. So I'm trying to quit that iStat menus installer. It simply doesn't want to quit. Here are the updates. We're going to take them 
later, so I press not now. Damn it, why won't you quit? Mm. And as you can see, it's still there. I don't know what happened. And you just right click it and make it disappear. Here's a quick reboot and go to software updates again. You see, I'm running 10.6.2 now. The updates are still there. I choose to install them and restart. And after this restart, I check for more updates. And if I'm not remembering incorrectly, it says, oh, yeah. No updates. And then I do a reboot and try again on installing iStat menus. Password. And it says it's installing and it was installed successfully and it doesn't want to quit. So just going to quit it by uh, right clicking the icon. Removing it and reboot the computer, and suddenly iStat menus are working. But as you can see, it only shows the temperature of the hard drive. It shows eight cores and how much CPU usage and all that, but it doesn't show anything else than the temperature of my hard drive. I did Google that and figure out that you need a special ver version of a file called fake smc.kext. And you put that uh, on your snow uh, installation. You have a fake smc.kext, you replace it. And when you have replaced it, you run, you double click kext utility. And kext utility will um, repair disk permissions for um, system library and that extra Hackintosh folder. And when we reboot now, you see we have all four cores and temperatures. Just the way it should be. And you can go into I set menus and put more of the sensors up on the menu bar. So you see all four. And you can simply close it after you're done. One thing I did find out uh, is that with the, the BIOS version F7, uh, the fan, smart fan control doesn't work. It runs the fan at max RPM no matter what the, the CPU is doing. So I go in here to flash it to the next version of the BIOS, which is F9E. It is a beta version of the BIOS, um, but it actually works, as you will see in a small, mo a little minute or so. But what happens when you update the BIOS is that all settings are back to default, so you will have to go into the BIOS and enable the stuff that we did um, in the last video. As you see here, I go disable the flop drive. I change the boot order and disable the full screen logo. We don't have floppy, so we're going to set a USB hard drive and CD-ROM and hard drive. And I enable keyboard function. And now you see the fan is at 1600 RPMs instead of 2000. Save that and reboot and if you were paying attention you would see that I forgot to set the serial ATA to AHCI and you see here OS 10 is simply not booting. So I remember that and I reboot, go into the BIOS and I go in here, no wrong, go in here and switch from IDE to AHCI and reboot and it simply works like a charm. So you see, if you don't do it correctly, it won't work.